All right, so this video we're gonna be doing a uh, React modal and we're gonna be doing it from scratch. So the main thing I wanna show in this video is how to uh, click outside the modal. So if you'll know, notice most like modal functionality, they'll either be like an X icon, um, but you'll also usually be able to click on the outside of the modal. So we're gonna kinda of do that from scratch and uh, show you how, how that works. So open up your terminal. Um, I'm gonna CD into my desktop, I'll just keep that there but uh, whatever, wherever you want to keep that, that's fine. So CD into that folder, and then we're just going to go npx create uh, react app, and I'm going to call this modal. And once this is all uh, downloaded and uh, going, we'll, uh, we'll get going. All right, so that seems to have finished, and I'm going to open this up in VS Code. Um, so I'm going to CD into, I call it modal, and then I'm gonna use VS Code as uh, my editor, but use obviously whatever one uh, you would like. All right, so let's open up VS Code here, make this a little bigger. Okay, so the first thing, I'm gonna open up my integrated terminal, so I'm just gonna work everything here in uh, VS Code, and we're just gonna run npm start just to see what we got. And this will be our blank create React app uh, project going here. Uh, looks like I have something running on that already, so I'm gonna have to cancel all of that. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna run npm start, and it'll just show us our blank uh, create React app uh, project. So we can take a look what we have going here. Uh, let's see, bring this over here. All right, so this is just our blank project. That's working fine. Um, so let's go into our app.js here. And we're just gonna get rid of, I think, everything. Get rid of that. We'll leave this. Um, we can get rid of the logo too. We don't need that. All right, so that should be good. Now for this project, we're gonna need a couple things here. So we're gonna come up here and we're gonna be using hooks for this. Um, and it makes it uh, quite a bit easier, especially with this, this project. So we're gonna bring in use effect. Uh, we're gonna bring in use state, and we're gonna bring in use ref. And that's all from React. And then what else? Do we need anything else? I think that's everything we're gonna need. So let's um, come down here, and we're gonna have uh, let's create our structure a little bit here. So we're just gonna have a button to start with, and that's just gonna say uh, toggle modal. That's fine. And then we're gonna have a uh, we're gonna have a div here, and we'll give um, actually let's give that a class name so we can style it a little bit, just a tiny bit, and that'll be equal to modal. Okay, that works. And then in here, we're just gonna have a p tag and just say uh, modal is open, just to show that the modal's uh, open there. All right, so now we're gonna come back up to the top here, and we're gonna create um, some state. So we're gonna go const, and this is with use state, so uh, brackets, and we're gonna go is, open, this is for our modal, and then we go set, set is open. And then that is from use state. And our initial state is where we put here, and that's gonna be false, so our modals, um, oh sorry, this is equals use state. So that's false and that's our initial state because our modal will not be open um, to start with, so. Now what we're gonna do here to show and um, uh, not show the modal is to have a conditional statement. So let's go here and we will go and we can put brackets and say if it is open, um, and this is a, a ternary operator. So if it is open, we're gonna do, um, we're gonna put the modal in there Simply, and then if it isn't, so 
we're gonna just uh, say null. So let's save that, that'll reformat. And then in order to open and close, we're gonna need an on click handler here. So let's go back up to our button here and we can just do this in line. So we can go on click um, and we're just gonna do a function here, uh, arrow function, and we'll go set is open is open caps and that's going to be equal to um, the opposite of is open so whatever state is open it'll toggle to the opposite of that and that should be it have I missed something oh the final uh, curly bracket here good so now we can save that and we can come back over. Um, so now we can save that and we can come back over and see that we have a toggle modal button. And if we click this, the modal is open. If we click it again, it toggles it. So that's basically all that we have to do. Now, we don't right now. If you see, we click outside. I'm clicking a bunch outside the modal and it is uh, it doesn't do anything so that's the functionality we're really shooting for here but first let's add a little uh, CSS to um, just to make the modal look stand out a little bit more so open up uh, your app.css and we're just gonna go here and we added a modal class so let's go dot modal and we're just gonna add a width of 400 picks and a border, uh, we'll go 1px solid and we'll just do gray and we'll go a margin of uh, zero auto, just make it center things, uh, margin, ooh, what the heck happened there? Margin zero auto center things, margin uh, top of 10 picks just to give us a little room and well, let's do a background actually. Background of, uh, we'll do gray, which I guess we don't need the border so much. Okay, so once that's there, let's come back here and this should give us, yeah. So not the prettiest modal of all time, but a, uh, it'll do for now. So that's good for our CSS, so let's get out of there. Let's come back here. So now we're trying to do the functionality where we can click outside of the modal. So this is where uh, use ref is um, going to come into come into play. So let's come down here, and we're going to go uh, const, and we're just going to call this outside. So outside of the modal, and we're going to say use ref, and that should be that. And we're going to have a couple things here. So we're going to have a handle click, which we're going to add. Um, and we're gonna have a use effect. So let's start with uh, yeah, let's start with the um, we'll start with the handle click here. So we're gonna go const. We're gonna create a function here. Const handle um, handle click. It's called. And we're gonna have an event. So e. And we are going to create the function here. So. This is uh, where we're going to do some conditional statements. So if uh, outside, uh, which we'll add in a sec, if outside dot current dot current is the method um, that use ref uses to determine uh, what what you're uh, aiming at. Uh, dot contains uh, e dot target, and then we'll say return. So that's if it's inside, if it clicks inside, so this will not um, close our modal. And then if that is not true, we'll come down here and we'll say set. So if we click outside, this is the outside uh, statement, set is uh, open to false. Okay, so we'll save that. Um, and let's actually, and save that. And let's actually come up here and just uh, we'll give ourselves a little room here. 
Um, okay, so that's good. Now, what we need to do also, uh, I forgot to do this earlier, but we need to add um, a our use ref. So we want to um, hit the outer uh, div here. So we want to say whatever is contained in here, if it's contained in here, then do the function. And by uh, to do that, we have to go uh, and tell it to use the ref here. So that was called out side here. So now anything in here we run if outside.current.contains this is the outside if it's contained in here then uh, we'll return otherwise we're gonna set to um, close the uh, close the modal and then I think the last thing we gotta do here is create our um, use effect so this will watch basically for whenever um, we we click so use effect and then we're gonna create um, some we're gonna call it get click and it's gonna have a, a create an add, a, add event listener and uh, which will be a click so let's go const uh, get click and that's equal to document dot add event listener and that will be a click event so that's what it's gonna look look for and then it's gonna call handle click if it sees that and then all we have to do is um, return and we're gonna do another arrow function and we're gonna return that get click event if uh, we click outside there and then the final thing we don't want to forget is uh, to come down here and the second argument it takes is um, an empty bracket so it'll run uh, it'll run one time so you can also pass in like a, a state or something there if you want it to watch for like when that state changes um, and that's uh, that's another possibility there so I don't know if we have any uh, typos here or anything but uh, we'll save that up Let's come back here and toggle modal. The toggle button works still. And then if we click outside here, we can see it toggles the modal. So that's basically the functionality we're looking to get. Um, obviously super ugly, but uh, I think uh, that could be useful for some people. So hopefully that was. Uh, if you liked the video, go ahead and subscribe or hit like if you feel like it. And uh, yeah, until the next one, thanks for watching.